leaders and the members of parliament, be calm. Give them our words. Give them these are other members. I will not be right to let you go. I'm not a friend because I'm speaking fast. I don't think it's not a fast language. Allow me to give an agreement on your best work. Mr. Speaker, three million requests. That when the Bobia returns, will be allowed to advise. And everybody so. She was inside the ground of the news. Mr. Speaker, to pretend like she's protecting the police. We are the people, Mr. Speaker, who are seeing you. Who is Mr. Speaker? And Mr. Speaker, we are the one who are seeing you too. And if the members of this house, let's not use our people as if we have to. When I speak, we have only one governor who is Honorable Simba Rati. We have been serving for a long time. Honorable Speaker, us. but Honorable Speaker, it has reached a point of no return. I mean, <laughs> operating and if possible, let us know the, what we are just had, teachers. In the, we also know how many briefings because it's important about the members, but let us also go through and know how many we, as a house and as a leadership, then when we discuss about the policy. And thank you, Mr. Speaker, for this opportunity, and I want to thank Honorable Tachi. We need our leadership in this and, and actually give a solution to this. And, uh, Kama sasa hivi, kwa shinua wanzangu, unaweza angalia kuna fedha. Basi, kwa 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 of the World Development Fund and the County Affirmative Action Fund for nominated members, the granting of financial autonomy to counter assemblies, the review of the nomination and the benefits of members of counter assemblies, and the restatement of plenary sitting and mileage allowances, among others. Noting that during the Congress, the members of counter assemblies resolved that if these resolutions are not considered in totality within 14 days, they will adjourn indefinitely from attending plenary sittings. Appreciating that, it is our duty to uphold the principles of devolution and ensure that the resolutions made by our colleagues in the council assemblies are given due consideration. Therefore, in order to align ourselves with the county assemblies and demonstrate our commitment to the world system of governance, I believe it is necessary to adjourn this house indefinitely. Now, therefore, this House will adjourn indefinitely from the, attending the plenary sittings with effect from today, May 24, 2023, in accordance with the resolutions made by the decision of members of counter assemblies and the recognition of our shared commitment to the success of the revolution in Kenya. If the national government has a budget of uh, more than 3 trillion Kenya shillings and we are giving 47 counties only 385 uh, billion Kenya shillings. Are you really supporting devolution? It is even less than the 15% that is uh, contemplated and you know you realize even in the Abuja declaration on matters of primary health care it was even envisaged that um, counties should be able to receive 15% of the national budget specifically going to the health sector. Now even the 15% is coming is for the entire, all the nine, all the 10 sectors in, in counties. And you also realize the people who are actually given mandate by the constitution, Article 179 of the constitution mandates the members of the county assembly to be able to do the oversight. It has even become very difficult for members of the county assembly to do oversight because there is no support that is given to the members of the county assembly. Because how then do you expect members of the county assembly to support even an executive which is given less resources and even those less resources that they are given, they are actually sometimes skewed to who supports the government. Imi nga wakidogo ambaye natoka kwa serikali kuu, kwa sababu kufikia sasa hivi, tuko katika ofisini kama miezi nani hivi. Hakuna fedha zozoto zimekuja za maendeleo. Hatujaweza kutengeneza watu wetu barabara. Hatujaweza kutengeneza mahospitali. Kwa hile pesa ambayo tunakusanya kidogo inaingia kwa revenue allocation yetu, on source revenue allocation, ndiyo tunatumika. Hata ingawa 
Siji serikali kuu inakuanga na tatizo fulani kwa sababu hizo hela wakati tunaitisha kutoka Nairobi, kutoka Treasury, tunaambiwa control of budget. Amapo inachukua muda, ndio tukuja kuruhusiwa kutumika hizi hela. Kama sasa hivi, atujapa hata mishahara kama miezi tatu hivi. Kulingana na kazi yetu ambayo tunafanya sisi kama wakilishi, kama wakilishi kata, tunapata tuko na tatizo tuko na tatizo kidogo sasa ndio maana tumesema wacha tusitishe shughuli za vikao lakini za kamati tutaendelea ndio kwamba serikali kuu ione ya kwamba inaweza tusaidia vipi kwa sababu gatuzi tangu mwaka 2010 tupate gatuzi kumekuwa na changamoto mingi sana tumebidisha uh, motion ya kusema kwamba tuelekee tuungane na wakenya wengine ambao wanafanya kazi kama yetu ya mashinani ili tuweze kupigania ugatuzi. Bila tunaona kwamba Senate eh, imejaribu kupigana kutuletea fedha katika mashinani lakini hawajafaulu. Kwa hivyo tumeungana uh, sisi kama MCS wa Kenya mzima na pia tumeungana na governors kusema kwamba tunataka fedha zije mashinani. Kwa sababu kila eneo hapa Kenya liko kwa ward ama liko kwa county ama sub county. Kwa hivyo tunapigania pesa sije. Pili tunataka uh, kwamba eh, serikali inakuli kupitia kwa vitengo mbalimbali. Waweze ku, kujua kwamba eh, u devolution inaanza huko mashinani na MCS. Kwa hivyo majukumu MCS wanatekeleza ni muhimu na ni makubwa. Kwa hivyo tunataka kwamba haya majukumu ambao wanatekeleza yaweze kuheshimiwa na pia aweze kupatiwa fedha za kutosha